Welcome here, my fellow Geowalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today, if you guys didn't already know, it is March 14th, aka 0314, aka Pi Day. So post night shift directly after work, I drove all the way from downtown to the Kennedy and 401 area, all the way here to Jollibee to not only just order some chicken, but obviously at 8 a.m. to order some pies for pie day. So continuing on from earlier after ordering the Jolly Bees peach mango and coconut pineapple pies, we caught the pie buying bug going next door to McDonald's and buying their apple pies for pie day as well. Apple pie, apple pie. Woohoo! apple pie, happy pie day. But when the wife and I got back to the condo, we were greeted by a couple of visitors that were still passed out in our living room. So I broke out one of my Christmas presents that I got from my parents this past year and wore it in order to be a good host and not wake our sleeping guests while quietly and sneakily in the dark trying to enjoy with the wife all this Jollibee feast of food that I bought this morning. Which also had included the theme of the day, several of the pies that we bought. And when our guests finally woke up, I was able to open up the lights and try out the limited edition Jollibee Coconut Pineapple Pie. That's good. Never mind, I don't have your number. Moving on, after taking a less than three hour post night shift nap today, we went downstairs to check out the squash courts in our condo to play squash down here for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic. Next, we had a post-workout meal in the form of, well, you guys guessed it, another piece of pie. Happy Pie Day, guys! Yay! Yay. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> I also recall that with it being in the middle of March, the wife and I traditionally do a prediction bracket for the NCAA Men's Basketball March Madness Tournament. Where last year, if you guys can remember, I finally won and I'm the current defending champion of the house. Your 2022 winner is me. Woo! So this evening, I made my way to the local Toronto Public Library and used my library card to print the 2023 NCAA bracket for this year. And after my cousin Elrond had invited me to go play some badminton with him set for tomorrow, I researched and found my latest Facebook Marketplace purchase. A purchase which included this badminton racket cover and this minimally used badminton racket. A leaning TurboForce 1000 badminton racket. Anyways, before I wrap it up for this year's 2023 Pi Day edition, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousin-in-laws back in the Philippines. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Taya. Happy birthday, Taya. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after sleeping and getting only a five hour nap in last night, waking up early to drive the wife to her day shift this morning, we're off to meet my cousin Elron here in Pickering to play some badminton. <laughs> what? what? I made it! Woo, badminton, let's go! Where is he?
So after badminton, just before getting a post-workout drink at Mucho Burrito, trying out the Dorito Mexican soda for the first time with Christine. Oh, that actually tastes good. Mm. Tastes just like my jacket looks. Yeah, that is good. Pineapple. I randomly ran into these special guests while in a plaza on the border of Scarborough and Pickering. So after badminton, guess who I ran into in Pickering? Look at this, <laughs> website and all. That's my book, check out the EOS key, bestseller on Amazon. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> nice running into you guys. Bye. Bye day. So after that cameo with my coworker that I haven't seen in a while and her best friend, we headed over to 52 to do a planned murder mystery dinner with these pretty cool costumes. Looking at exhibit A with me being Dr. Henry Wu, and exhibit B with my cousin Elrond being his character, Owen Grady. Doing all this for my cousin Lou for his belated birthday celebration. Lou, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to Lou. Happy birthday to Lou. Happy birthday to you! Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Thirty-five. Okay. Okay. Yay! We also had in between rounds set up by my cousin Faye and Eduave. A beautiful Filipino Buddha fight, with the exception of not having any actual Filipino food there. Woo! What a setup! That's amazing! Hey, that's amazing! Get out! Aya! 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 It's interesting that you bring that up because I believe that Dr. Henry Wu had a part to play and I want to know why he's sitting there so smugly. And while we were all trying to find out who exactly was the suspect, we found out that the murderer of tonight's murder mystery was actually me, Dr. Henry Wu. Dr. Henry Wu did it! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, a big shout out to my cousin Faye and Eduabe for hosting us at 52 and executing this amazing murder mystery night. But now, being back at the condo, before I rest up for the night after a very busy day, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my former Weissett friends back when I lived downtown. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Charlie. Happy birthday, Charlie. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. First of all, I want to show you guys this t-shirt that I got from Aduave yesterday that I bought from him just for today. And just like last year, on this exact day, today we're celebrating Austin 316 Day. Happy Stone Cold Day, guys. With that being said, I have a couple of birthday greetings to some of my high school friends. With a first birthday shout out, going out to one of my Ukrainian soccer buddies that I had back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Andy. Happy birthday, Andy. As well as a birthday shout out to one of my high school basketball teammates who, whenever he would shoot, would always go, what? This birthday greeting goes out to you, Duran. Happy birthday, Duran. I'm hoping that my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, after yet another lackluster sleep, getting up early to drive the wife to her day shift this morning, I saw this beautiful AM sunrise while in the parking lot as I headed over to the local Walmart. Since they have beer selling hours starting at the early hour of 7 AM, where I bought this six pack of beer to get ready for Austin 316 day. The only thing was, I didn't want to be suspicious only checking these out at the cashier. So I decided to hit up the banana rack to buy some bananas as well. But when I did get home from 
grocery shopping, I found these babies that I had stored away from last year's Austin 316 day. So before I go in for my solo night shift tonight, we just have to continue this tradition and crack some cold ones in honor of Stone Cold Day. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. Day. Woo! Oh man guys, the wife is definitely gonna kill me after she spent last week cleaning this bathroom. So guys, do me a favor and don't tell her. Man, what seemed like a crazy busy night shift handling for PCAs with non-stop call bells. I was stressed out this morning enough to buy a post night shift happy meal. I also decided that when I got home, I turned on the TV to watch one of my favorite apps, the EarthCam TV app, and put on a live feed straight from Dublin while wearing my lucky traditional Irish mode t-shirt on and wish everybody out there a happy St. Paddy's Day. And while watching more videos from the Irish capital, I looked in the fridge to see that I put away one can of Guinness beer for this special occasion as well as the glass mug that I got from the Guinness factory itself when I visited Ireland several years back. I had also decided to turn my children's Happy Meal hotcakes breakfast into an Irish slash adult St. Paddy's Happy Meal. And while enjoying my Irish beer for breakfast as a post night shift eye opener, I have this wonderful greeting for you guys out there. Cheers, may you love to live as long as you live to love. Happy St. Paddy's Day, Slyntra. Anyways, after getting minimal post night shift sleep and driving the wife to her night shift tonight, I'm back in the Queen West area to meet my buddy Lee, who you guys remember we last saw at the Super Kicked event in January around this area to go for our second Super Kicked wrestling show on this St. Patrick's Day 2023. So after yet another fun time at the Super Kick event with my buddies, I want to show you guys some of my favorite raw footage videos that I took from last night's events. I was also able to meet a wrestler who I watched ringside with these highlights. <laughs> that 
just may be one of my new fan favorites. Yo, I'm in the El Capitan. Super kick, baby, let's go. At Super Kick. Thanks, man, appreciate it. And after wrapping up the day, taking the mini out to a nice midnight snack, I got home to nap for a couple of hours, only to wake up early to pick up the wife from her night shift this morning. And did I mention, this afternoon, getting back on the bike for the first time in several days, I was able to multitask solving this Rubik's Cube simultaneously once again. But before I wrap it up for the day, going in for one random night shift tonight, I just have a belated birthday greeting to one of our friends slash fellow YouTubers out there. This belated birthday shout out goes out to you, Mary. Happy birthday, Mary. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So getting home after work, after doing my single night shift this weekend, I was ready to have yet another couple of days off. But as luck would have it, after getting a decent post night shift nap today, guess who got a call to come into work for overtime tonight. So, getting ready to go in for my second night shift this weekend. For the first time in a while, I got to check out my weekly Sunday Roman Catholic Mass online. And had to come up with some food and dinner to make in between my night shifts. So I looked in the fridge and saw that we had these HelloFresh meal bags, which are evidently quick and easy to make. For people like me, that aren't necessarily the greatest chefs. And as you guys can see here, I definitely burnt some of the meat that we are having tonight but was able to salvage it and more than make up for it in the presentation for dinner tonight. But yeah, before I go and enjoy that meal and go into work tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends that I used to go clubbing with back in the day and who is now an inspiration on social media with her fitness. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kayla. Happy birthday, Kayla. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. First of all, at 5.24 p.m. today, I just want to wish everybody a happy first day of spring. And along with that, we have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. With a first birthday shout out going out to one of my Weissick friends from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kana. Happy birthday, Kana. And the next birthday greeting going out to one of my friends that I met through my other buddy Jason when we went to that Blue Jay game that one time. This birthday shout out goes out to you Harry. Happy birthday Harry. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah, after my night shift this morning, recalling several of these scenes from previous Live From Last Week episodes, Guess who I saw once again while in the parking lot going shopping at No Frills. Bye bye cool guy on the scooter with his cool green cover. But speaking of that night shift last night, where I was supposed to spend my day off with the wife, today after taking a quick post night shift nap, we're back in downtown Toronto to make it up for, where'd you go? A date night. Which unfortunately, you guys will have to wait until next week's episode to check out the highlights from this Day, night. And with that, we'll wrap up this week's live from last week episode right there. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.